Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Bull Boy Kennels. In this tutorial today, we will be going over a tip or a feature in Final Cut Pro. This has to do mainly with using uh, photos for a slideshow. Uh, it also does work with um, videos as well. If you want to change multiple durations and or add multiple transitions to either videos or photos. So let's first start with opening up Final Cut Pro. And in this demonstration, I will be using a bunch of images. Now, I only have three images, so I have them shown as doubles. But the concept is the same if you're using 50 images, 100 images, or 300 images. First thing to keep in mind is when doing a photo slideshow is the duration of each clip. Now, you may want the clips to be five seconds long. You may want them to be 10 seconds long. That's something that you need to decide prior to starting your project. So when you're in Final Cut Pro, go to the Final Cut menu, User Preferences. You get this dialog box that comes up. Click on Editing. And on the Still Freeze Duration, um, by default it's set to 10 seconds. You can change that ahead of time before starting the sequence or if you already have a timeline or a project open you can change it and then add that new sequence at that time so for now I'm just going to leave it at the default at the 10 seconds and we'll go to now and get started now each of these photos when I imported them it uses the duration that is set up in that user preference so as you can see this is 10 seconds long. Now let's say I've already worked in, in, in a project and I decided, you know what, I don't want these to be 10 seconds. I want them to be all 5 seconds long. Well, that's not a problem. If you're just working with all photos and they're all in one timeline, you need to select all the clips at one time and then do control click, duration, and we can change it from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. And now each of these clips are 5 seconds long, as you can see here. Now the other thing we might run into is maybe we want to add a transition to these clips after the fact. So we're going to assume that I have a bunch of clips. Now the very first clip, I don't want to I don't want to transition at the beginning of it. So we'll go to the next clip, which would be this here, and we'll just highlight a group of clips. So for example, let's, let, we'll just assume that this is 20 clips. Now we know by the way it's highlighted that at the very beginning, and you have to have the playhead at the beginning of that clip. So we know that this clip is going to have a, a transition between these two clips. And then at the end of this clip into the next clip, there will not be a transition. So and it's just from the beginning to the beginning of the last clip. So we'll go ahead, highlight those, just click and drag into our viewer here. And when you see overwrite, go to the right area where it says with transition and go ahead and I'll drop that in. Now, by default, I have to cross zoom as my transition or dissolve. So we can go ahead and I'll preview that. And there we have it. Now for your next set of clips you may want those to have a different transition. So again we can do the same. And we'll put our play at the beginning of the clip that we want. And then we'll just highlight all the clips because we want a transition to be here and then to finish off with the last clip. Now, prior to doing so, we'll need to go to Effects, and we need to trans change our Dissolve or Transition, and then we'll select Cross Dissolve, and we'll make that the default transition. Now we can go back to our timeline here, and then click and drag, and again, with Transition, which is the one right next to Overwrite, 
and now all those clips have their transition. So this is a good way to be able to do multiple clips at one time, whether you're changing the duration or you're adding a transition to them. So now when we play this back, we have the cross dissolved. And like I said, whichever clip is highlighted first, you want the playhead to be at the beginning of that clip. So that way when you drop it into your viewer to add that transition, it knows from the beginning of that clip to the clip prior, it will add the clip. And then the clip at the very end, it will add the transition at the very beginning of that last clip. So I hope this was helpful and helps out a lot of folks in being able to do multiple clips for durations and transitions at one time. And as always, this was uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Boy Kennels of iTexture.com. And thank you for taking the time to watch.